Hi guys, today I'm doing a review on the uh, Topol. It is a model kit, same as the S uh, S300 from the same brand. We had a plastic, rubber tires. They can roll, but uh, not when you try to put up put it on the ground because the uh, weight of the model. This time around, there's uh, glass for the windshield, but no missile inside the launcher because uh, the cap is pretty hard to remove. So that's understandable. Uh, to be honest, it wasn't a fun build because uh, a lot of small pieces, kind of tricky, and uh, a lot of a lot of them almost broke off too. Had to use uh, super glue. A lot of them didn't want to fit inside the hole, so um, you had to do some modification or shave the part a little bit in order to make them fit. I'm just glad it's over. It's a pretty decent model, and unfortunately, the uh, the stabilizer right here broke off. Here's the parts that you're going to be left with. Four spare tires, and here's the uh, stabilizer. Unlike the S300, it's not retractable. And then here's the parts for when it's in a um, uh, uh, firing position. Here's the comparison with the uh, S300. And the uh, Tiger. Let me get into uh, firing position for you guys. Probably better to keep it in uh, in this one position for the for the entirety of for the uh, model. But for the rest of for the rest of the way, since because um, it's because of this, I'm, af I'm afraid if you do it too much, it might break. Finally, here's the piston for the launch rail. Yeah, see, this one doesn't want, this one doesn't want to fit. It uh, fell off. That's what I was talking about earlier about the some parts not wanting to go inside. Okay, anyway, here's the here it is. A pretty big model. Thanks for watching.